The armed forces of Ukraine use the Kolbakino airfield in Mykolaiv Oblast for their Barakter UAVs. The TASS has published information about this with reference to sources. Now Kolbakino airfield is used for UAVs. Yes, it's not simple, according to our agents, serious UAVs, Barakter UAVs are going up and down there, the source said. Turkish drones are designed for aerial reconnaissance and airstrikes against ground targets. When remotely controlled, they can fly up to 150 kilometers. At the end of winter this year, the head of the Turkish company Baykar, Haluk Barakter announced the start of construction of a UAV production plant near Kiev. As Ivan Konovalov, director of the Center for Strategic Conjuncture, noted in a conversation with Paragraph, the leaders of the Turkish organization do not really believe that Ukraine will retain its statehood until the nominal launch of drone production. The Ukrainian Navy received the first Turkish-made unmanned Barakter TB-2 in 2021. This Barakter TV-2 is a modernized version with a flight range of 300 kilometers, and not 150 as the previous version. In addition, the control station can be located on ships. Barakter TV-2 attack drones are used to observe and cover the coast and waters of the Black and Azov Seas, as well as strike the enemy with high-precision weapons. In addition, they are also responsible for the guidance of our 360 Neptune anti-ship cruise missiles. At least four people have died, others are missing and thousands have been forced to evacuate after torrential rain at the weekend caused widespread flooding in Bavaria of Germany. Water submerged streets and highways, broke dams and derailed a high-speed train. The historic city of Regensburg, with a population of 150,000, announced a state of emergency as the water reached a critical point amid fears that record deluges of 2013 and 2002 could be repeated. In the small southwestern town of Ebersbach in Baden-Württemberg, the water pushed through a highway wall. In both Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg over the weekend, several dams broke, in some cases leading to flooding of entire neighborhoods. One of the worst-hit towns in Bavaria was Masching, about 80 kilometers north of Munich. About 800 people were evacuated after a nearby dam burst. The carmaker Audi has suspended production at its Bavarian plant in Ingolstadt because of flooding from the river Danube. Bavarian Minister President Markus Söder said conditions in the region remain critical and tense, with water receding in some places but new flooding and evacuations elsewhere. He noted that water levels are expected to rise in Regensburg and farther down the Danube River. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who visited affected areas, said the flooding was a reminder of critical environmental challenges. We cannot neglect the task of halting man-made climate change, he said. Nancy Faeser, who, as Germany's interior minister, is responsible for disaster response, traveled with Scholz. She told local reporters that coordination and organization work much better. The German Weather Service warned of more heavy rain in southern and eastern parts of the country. Oh! 